Good morning, Sock Trail Baptist Temple. I hope that you're doing well on this Chicago spring day. I tell you what, a couple uh, videos ago, it was a nice, bright, sunny, and warm day, and now I'm looking out, and it's a little dark. There's a little bit of sunshine, but there's snow, and uh, on the ground, the snow falling still. So that's, uh, that's Chicago uh, land for you. That's the Midwest, I guess, but that is... All right, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. There's always something to be joyful in, and we can thank the Lord uh, that we know Him, that we're saved, and uh, that uh, we have eternity as our home and God as our Father, so we can thank the Lord in that. But uh, just wanted to uh, give a few words of encouragement from Scripture. Before I did that, just do want to encourage you to take a look at the um, emails that were sent out uh, that have prayer updates, but then also uh, just a word of thanksgiving to the Lord for uh, the church and the way it's been giving, uh, even though this has been a, uh, a hard time, I know for many uh, personally, uh, you know, or corporately, you know, with their business or whatever it may be, might be struggling financially. I've been uh, thankful to see that God has blessed and touched the hearts of his people to continue to give. And uh, um, the church has been uh, having some strong offerings, and so we're really grateful for that and uh, praising the Lord for it. And uh, we'll trust that God will bless the faithfulness of his people um, as we continue to serve him. And uh, so just wanted to uh, take some time here as well to uh, just give you some verses of encouragement. Uh, I feel like my thoughts were in a lot of different areas as I read scripture from my personal devotions and think of uh, scripture that applied to this time. I think there's a lot of different ways in which we could go, but just wanted to um, focus on, on a few verses here. One verse that I read uh, during my devotions was in a Psalm in chapter 119, um, and it's in verse 71. It says, It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. We understand that sometimes God uh, brings affliction in our life to show us that our sinful ways are not the best ways, and it then points us to his good ways that are good for us. But we also know from the New Testament that uh, many times affliction comes to our lives, uh, not based upon any actions we've done, but simply to increase our faith, to grow our faith, to mold us, and to shape us into the likeness of Jesus Christ, and uh, to help us to trust God's word even more and believe what we say we believe and what we know to be true, but to truly act out and to learn in the sense of living it out and um, uh, actually applying it to our lives. And uh, there's some verses in the New Testament that I want to encourage you with that we need to learn in the sense of applying during this time. And although we have affliction and though we have a hard time that we're going through, there's still some things that are true that we need to not just know, but truly learn and live out. Um, and one of those verses is, uh, actually both of them, I believe, are very familiar um, to us. Uh, I've uh, found this one to be an encouragement uh, many times and in many ways. But Romans chapter 8 and verse number 28 says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. And even in both verses, we've seen the how affliction worked for good, how all things work for good. And we have to remember the good that God intends for us to have is to know him more, to become more like Jesus Christ in our thoughts and actions and character, and he's shaping us to be more like him. And so the good is not always to live the good American life, but it's to live the life God wants us to have and to have the faith the character and uh, the knowledge of him that he desires. That is what is ultimately good for us. And I'm thankful that uh, God gives us this wonderful promise that uh, no matter what we go through, we can trust that uh, God will give us what we need to be able to um, uh, continue to serve him, to continue to be all that God would want us to be. And so I, f I find this encouragement in 1 Corinthians in chapter number 10 and verse 13, it says, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted, above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, 
that ye may be able to bear it. Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. And I draw such encouragement from this, realizing that even though we can have a lot of things stacked upon us in life, and although the uh, we might have the normal struggles of life, this pandemic has maybe added some more weight to that, and it can seem so hard, and can, the temptation can be to just throw off God, to throw off our faith, to throw off the serving Him, and actually go to the things of this world to try to give give us comfort or help or consolation or whatever it may be. But this is a great encouragement to realize that God's faithful. He's faithful and he will take care of us and we can run to him and we can know that he will make a way to escape that through his grace we can bear up under this and have uh, the peace and joy and comfort that is needed that we can continue to serve him faithfully and do his will and uh, it is worth it just to stick with him. And so just want to Use those verses to encourage you today and uh, to draw strength uh, from His Word. This is definitely a strange time and not something that we're all comfortable with. And I know we'd all like to be together, but may we use this time just to draw closer to Him, to still glorify Him and honor Him. And I pray that God will use this for good. We've already seen three people come to know Jesus Christ. Uh, two, uh, the Naminsky boys, Addison and Casey. Uh, uh, this greater time being with family has meant that they were able to talk more about what salvation is and that they were to lead their boys to the Lord. And then uh, Joan Peel's niece coming to the Lord after her, uh, uh, Johnny Peel's sister passed away. And so it's just amazing to see the good things that can come even from bad situations. And so we'll trust that God can work good in your life and in our life as a church. May God bless you today.